And since NAMM show is next week, I got a ton of emails saying, hey, are you going to do that video again like you did last year? And I thought, yeah, let's do that. So let's start with Ibanez. That's why I'm playing my gym today, because it's going to be the 30th anniversary of the Ibanez Gym 777. You remember the pink, green, and yellow guitars? Well, the rumor is, and it seems pretty aggressive that it's going to be true, that they are reissuing them in a limited run for $3,500 each street price. I don't know what the retail is, I just know it's $3,500, which sounds crazy, but if you've been looking on them used on the market, you know that's not far-fetched from what they generally get close to used. Some, some of them more than that, some of them less than that. So it'll be really interesting to see not only if they do that, but what the rules will be on that. Will dealers have to buy all three, or will they be limited to 100 pieces each, or will they be 777 each, or what is it? And if you're really a gym fanatic, you'll also be wondering how they're going to answer the question of, they said they would never make the green one again. So it'd be all interesting to see and hopefully uh, it's it's uh, gonna happen. The other big rumor is that there might be a new gem all together for the anniversary that is like baby blue. The thing that is confirmed though is that Ibanez is going to be refreshing a lot of the Iron Label guitars and other guitars in the premium series, giving them new exotic uh, tops, you know, right? Going away from some of the basswood body, bodies to ash and other woods. But more importantly, the new exciting thing is they're going to be adding stainless steel frets to a lot of the guitars. And that's right, you just heard that. That is correct. I verified that stainless steel frets a really cool feature the other thing is coming from orange orange has a new rock reverb 15 so they're taking the rock reverb the rock reverb uh, 50 an iconic amp that we all love and making it so it's better for bedroom players and maybe small studios the other exciting news is from immerse immerse is going to be adding a new speaker emulator pedal um they're going to be making a big announcement at the show i'm very excited to hear about that uh fender will not be releasing anything new as from my understanding they got the new professional series that was the soft launch in december the full launch is this month, so all new strats, tellies, jazz masters, and jaguars, P bases and jazz bases, and uh, with all the new feature sets, you can check out the reviews I did of those on this channel. And uh, they will be obviously since they did a mid-year launch with the offset specials and the deluxe stuff from Made in Mexico. I'm sure they'll be pushing that. I've heard nothing about a new amp. I have heard, however, that EVH has a new amp. The LBX currently will not be discontinued. It will be dropped from the uh, like $6.99 to the $5.99 price point, so it's staying in production, but dropping $100. And the new LBX is launching, which will go to the old price point of $699, the same amp, but with one major change. Instead of having the the green and, or sorry, the blue and the red channel, it'll have the green and the blue, and the volume now will be stacked concentric pots so that you can have two volumes, one for each channel. They're also adding a Bumblebee, yellow and black Wolfgang, which will be exciting for the EVH players because they did this before, but they were upset that there was a hardtail tremolo, or hardtail bridge. Now there'll be a Floyd Rose tremolo, and they're adding a hockey stick version headstock onto one of the Stripe Series guitars. Jackson has a plethora of new exciting stuff coming out. They're be coming out with some new guitars, new basses, including an affordable priced Misha Mansour. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that, but Misha Mansour priced guitar, sub thousand dollar price point. If you follow the channel, you know I did my top 10 pieces of gear. One of them was Lawrence Petros Design 68 pedal. He has now come out with an 87. I was very lucky to play the prototype. That'll be released this month, I, and it's going to be a very exciting pedal to see as well. And another interesting thing is Gibson's got a new guitar. Check that out. You know, it's really interesting. You know, they've been messing with stuff for years. You know, they did those crazy upside down Vs, all this stuff. But this seems like a really logical style guitar. It seems like something new to add to the line. I can see where this could be fun. Uh, I don't know what the prices are, but I'm really interested in checking them out. It could be something worth, you know, worth adding to the collection, something unique like that. Another huge thing that's going to happen is Heritage Guitars. If you're not familiar with them, they are a company that is in Kalamazoo and they are in the original Gibson factory using the original Gibson machinery and doing it the original Gibson way. Well, they've got a new investor. They got some some new money. They got some new exciting things coming. And at the NAMM show, they're going to be really pushing the uh, a new revamp of the line, you know, right? Putting a lot of focus on that. So, so it's really interesting to see right now. This is going to be an exciting NAMM because you see a lot of innovation going on, and I love seeing that. So it's really nice to see a lot of companies, instead of just figuring out how to ship it to another country to drop it another couple bucks for us, to see them actually saying, hey, we're gonna make it a little better and see if that makes you wanna, you know, kind of 
open up the wallet a little bit. So really exciting things from NAM that way. Paul Reed Smith, uh, I'm very excited about because I'll be doing an interview with Paul Reed Smith on Saturday at the NAM. But more importantly, a year ago, I predicted that they were going to come out with a new affordable line of amps called Sinzera, and uh, it didn't happen. And so guess what? It's happening now. In fact, it's confirmed. Here's what they look like. There is a 20 watt combo with reverb for $7.99. There is a 20 or 50 watt 112 combo with dual reverbs for $8.99 and a 50 watt head with dual reverbs for $7.99. So I mean, a lot of new products from a lot of companies, which will be really cool to see. I can't wait. And like I said, I'll be giving you guys some coverage from the NAMM show as well. And uh, as always, guys, I want to thank you. Make sure you subscribe because I do these videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, including the live feed on Friday. So if you subscribe, you don't miss out on any of the information we're getting out here on this channel. And as always, thank you for your time and know your gear.